the previous lessons we have learned many new features related to wires and wire numbers now in these lessons we are going to discuss about the components how we can insert the components in the circuit or add their attributes as you all know that in electrical field there are different form of circuits just like uh, we can make control and power circuits single phase three phase or single line diagrams so we can make all these circuits in AutoCAD electrical. We will learn how we can insert these components to form such type of circuits in AutoCAD electrical. In the open drawing you can see there are two circuits in a single drawing. You will find two forms of symbols. One is uh, NFPA and GIC symbols that are imperial and in inches. While the second one is IEC symbols that are in millimeter these two have different form of symbols for same components like for push button this one is in nfpa symbol library while if we select the iec symbols then its symbol will be something different if we can insert the components from this panel and edit their attributes from this panel we can also pick the components from here or change their attributes from here like we can edit the components, move, insert component in this component tab. But we will mostly pick components from here or either the entering the command. Before inserting component, move to the drawing property, open this drawing and check its properties. You will find there is a component tab in this dialog box. You can find the tag format of a component. You can see like for in wire numbers we have inserted percent n, but in component is like a percent f and percent n so what is percent f if you move to the drawing and zoom the component you can see the name the tag name of this component which is pb1 pb is actually the this percent f so the percent f is the component family or code string it is the default values that are already inserted in these library so if we enter the percent f and we insert a symbol for this push button then it will automatically enter a value like pb percent n shows the one value so this is the sequential value we can also change it to suffix like that value we can pick any of the option from this so percent f is actually like pb for push button and for control relays we mostly use cr and uh, for motor mt or mtr these are predefined family code strings another thing which is important the spacing and the format referencing if you move your mouse cursor here to the icon menu and drop down you can see the multiple options here if you click on the icon menu you will find to insert component these are the nfpa semantic symbols because in our project settings we have inserted the libraries of nfpa that's why we are getting the symbols of nfpa below the menu list this is the vertical if you want to insert these components horizontally then we will not check this box if you want to insert this component in vertical direction then we will check this box to insert the component in vertical direction the scale symmetric the symbol which we will select will be scaled to the dead scale value this is showing the recently used symbols so it will be easy for us to again use that symbols in our drawings click on this push button you will find all the related push buttons you can also pick the push buttons from here either click just to click once on your mouse and you will find the details so this is showing the push button normally open, push button normally close, mushroom. These are all related to push buttons. So moving towards the second drawing and uh, insert some components. I want to insert this component, but you can see the semantic scale is changed to 1. For that drawing it was 1.5, but for this drawing it is 1. If uh, you move to the drawing format, I have entered the feature scale multiplier as 1.5. That's why by default i am getting i am getting the scale of 1.5 in this menu sorry just open that drawing and click on the menu icon menu you will find the scale is 1.5 if you click on this and check its properties in the drawing you can see the feature scale multiplier is 1 scale is 1 so that's why we are also getting 1 we can even change the scale manually using this value we can edit this value so now first we want to insert the component 
in in that scale one let's suppose insert this one push button if you want to insert the push button you will have to properly align the terminals of this component on this wire but before that just close snap mode off to properly align inserting terminals so if you want to insert the component you will have to properly move the terminals on that wire and just click once so this is the dialog box which is related to insert or edit component you can see our push button tag is automatically it pick as pb5 as you can see we have another drawing in which we have uh, created some circuits so actually pb up to pb4 we have used in that drawing so it automatically pick the value as pb5 mean in a project if we have multiple drawings and we have use a single component in multiple drawings then the component tags will be unique so it will pick the component tags we can also change these values even we can change the, that value also like ab5 the tags must be unique we can also pick it from plc addresses if we have used plc and from semantic panel yeah, description is important if uh, we have inserted a component and we want to so write some description i want to enter start start motor these two lines will be inserted we can also pick the description from the drawing if we have any drawing and we have entered description on any value in this drawing sorry if you want to check for the project start emergency stop we have used all in the first drawing default values we can click on any push button and we can pick that descriptions now moving to that or section so it is also very much important that we have multiple options in our catalog data like manufacturer and catalog or assembly item count so if you click on the lookup tab it will find date related push buttons in the list you can see there are multiple push buttons in our list having the different catalog numbers with the manufacturer name as i have installed on the ab manufacturer so that's why i'm only getting ab manufacturer push buttons installing the software you have to take care about the, the different libraries you have to install the different libraries uh, it shows the description type type of the push buttons and there are multiple options so i just want to pick from that but before picking the push button you can see there is an option global search so in autocad electrical if you open another version you will not find this option like global search it is searching using different manufacturers that push button and you can also pick from that let's check the, this option and let's click ok as you can see that uh, it's manufacturer and catalog options or boxes are updated we can also enter the assembly item account numbers here but uh, just leave it for now and uh, installation code we have already entered in our drawing settings location code we have entered and these terminal pins such type of symbols with the different uh, numbers on these terminals to insert 11 and 12 here or 11 and i want to click ok repeat it will again show me to enter the symbol again i will enter the symbol from the description let's change it to stop push button i can even pick from this option let's change its pin numbers to one and two okay now as you can see this is a start push button while this one is for stop the motor so i want to change it to normally close move your mouse here and you will find that toggle normally open normally close click here select component to go toggle just enter here you can see that it's state is changed now to normally close to increase the scale let's suppose i want to enter three and in recently used section we have used push button once so it is showing here just click on here whenever you are inserting the component you will have to properly align the component otherwise it will be showing like this way mean the terminals are not connected to the wires because the wire is not cut here so you will have to take care about that let's suppose i want to pick the description and everything from here start start push button let's suppose change its description installation and uh, location codes are fixed you change your spin numbers one or pv1 pv2 let's see uh, you can see that this push button is now scaled to three values three times it is scaled now 
but it is not properly inserted in the wire. So we will have to move this component to properly insert it in the wire. So how we can move this component, just move this drop down menu and you will find the move component. Just click on this mouse and properly align it with the wire. You will see that the wire is cut now and it is properly inserted in the wire. So in this way we can insert or we can scale the components. If you want to insert three phase components. So how we can insert three phase components in three phase. Let's again move it to scale it to one or two let's suppose. Now I want to insert components with three poles. Like I want to insert this one. These are the breakers. So I want to insert the three pole breaker. Just move your mouse here. Drop down power control. In the description we can also look up for this value also. You will find the different circuit breakers in the list.